Hola, welcome to my hiking show. I'm Kevin, and whoo, what a hike you picked today. Today I'm in the middle of Tennessee, and I'm hiking through this beautiful forest, which is full of foliage, mostly on the ground because it is autumn, and there is a little bit of a, a brisk chill to the air, but I just love seeing leaves on the ground. It's just so, I mean, they're all dried out, and they're dead, actually, and they're decomposing, and brown and weathered. Doesn't sound that great after all, does it? I'm also walking around this amazing lake here, Lake Radnor, and the whole loop goes right around the whole lake. And you know how much I love that. I love walking loops or circles. Circular, circular. Doesn't even have to be a lake in the middle. I like circles. But if there is a lake or water, um, I'm even more happy. We got a great hike coming up. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. So grab your rake and your leaf bag and why don't we go take a hike? My hiking buddy today, what a talent, man. What a career she's had. She is an iconic rock star. She has won nine Grammys. She's a multi-platinum artist. She's a survivor. She's had so many hit songs. If it makes you, well, you know what I'm talking about. That's right. Today, right here, right now, we're hiking with the talented rock star, Sheryl Crow. Sorry. Look how tall okay, I am. People don't know how short I am. Um, That's the first thing I hear from people. It's like, oh, I didn't know you were so short. And I get the opposite. Really? Yeah, yeah. no, I could see really that. Not tall. I didn't, yeah, well, I didn't know you existed. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be short than to be non-existent. Ready to head back? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, Cheryl, this is full circle for me. I'll explain why. Okay. I don't know if I ever told you this before, but when I was on SNL, Yes. That's right, I was on SNL, <laughs> like 30 years ago. <laughs> um, so was I like 30 years ago. Well, um, yeah, no, And you've almost. done it three times. I have done it three times. <laughs> uh, so a few of us went over, I think it was Dana and Lovitz. Yeah. We went over to New Jersey, New Jersey uh, Meadowlands, you know, that arena there? Yeah, yeah. Because Michael Jackson was playing. Oh my gosh. And we watched him from the side, like in the uh, exit row or something. Yeah. And you yeah, were singing right. back up with the big yes, crow. I was. Yes, and She were, says, I am the one. <laughs> you okay, were go really ahead. good. <laughs> and we're all going, oh, look, at the, look at the backup singer with the afro. Whoo, she's hot, you know. That was my real hair. Was it really? Yeah, my hair is actually very curly. Yeah, you had that whole, people were emulating your hair. You know, for a long, you were like um, Jennifer uh, Aniston for a while, you know, except with your own for, hair. For a minute, I did have a hair thing going. Yeah, you had that curly thing. Yeah. So, the show's over, and you're heading our way to leave. Okay. And I'm thinking she's going to recognize us. She'll recognize us and stop and say, hey, what's going on, guys? You want to go out and have a drink? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and uh, maybe I was saying that. But uh, <laughs> but you came, uh, you walked right by us, did not even look, <gasps> and you were gone. And now here we are. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe I was just too shy. No, that, no you that were into your, edge. you were thinking in your head, I wonder how I did. I wonder, that was good. I missed I, that note. I mean, honestly, I went from being a school teacher to going on that tour. Right Most from there. Most likely I ha had lived with my head in the sand before that. So maybe I didn't know who you guys are. But I don't see how that's possible because I loved SNL. Yeah. Um, I loved it. Great how is your career to have this path where you get to go on a show that you loved. You got to perform with these dinosaurs that you grew up like Mick Jagger, Keith and Richards. I know, it's crazy. It, it really is crazy. Oh my God. I was telling somebody the other day. You know, it's funny. Okay, so you have a son. So I've got two boys, right? Yeah. So when I moved here, it's almost like I stepped out of a movie and just start all over. When I was telling somebody the other day, um, my This is old... live, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know somebody <laughs> asked me, are you ever gonna write a book? And I was like, everybody has to die first. So that's gonna be a problem. But um, years ago, when I lived in LA, um, I had a New Year's Eve party one year in my house. You might have actually been there, who knows, but. I think I was at, well, I was at something at your house. And um, it was me and Minnie Driver, and we both said, you invite 40 people, and I'll invite 40 people. Meg Ryan was there? Yes. Yep. I think it wound up being, I think there were about three or 400 people there. 
I mean, I had a lot of stuff up there. I had a party with for the Rolling Stones on it. That was an awesome house, by the way. But this party, I remember at the very end, I was I was dating Owen. He hey, amigo. Just, wow. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> and everything was a, a reference a quote from a movie, The Whole Hike. Everything <laughs> I like said to town. him. <laughs> when, you know. I've said stuff to him, and then he's like, I'm going to put that in a movie. <laughs> My dad answered the door once when I was, I'd gone out with this guy, and we got home late. Yeah. Um, there had been a snowstorm, and my dad was furious. Oh, yeah. We get to the door, and my dad is like, you, in the house. Ooh. And then he's like, you, your ass is dismissed. <laughs> and Owen's like, oh, I'm putting that on maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, I come around the corner to the at the end of this party, and it's my dad and Heidi Fleiss and Rick Rubin and Owen Wilson. Oh, and I'm no. like, only in Hollywood. But you know, look, this is this is this is my life now. Guys, I'm filming. Oh, Come oh, on. Oh, you, <laughs> you didn't want us to <laughs> photobomb you? No. Yes, but we do want to know what you're talking about. You're so hey, Tennessee. Go balls. Tennessee's oh, Tennessee. Go balls. Go balls. <laughs> what a season. They crushed them last weekend. I know. Uh, Y'all have a good hike. <laughs> you too. Thank you. So, getting back to what I was saying before. Yes. Um, I know Cheryl Crow. I know her a little bit, you know. She's we, hung really out. Nice. we have hung we out. Hang out. Yeah. We hung out a little bit here. I know here, your right? wife, Susan. I love her. Yeah, she's great. We have lots of mutual friends. Yeah, a lot of mutual friends. Yes. So, that's the Cheryl Crow. I know, and I know you've had an incredible career in traveling on the road and the bus and, you know, the crowds at Bonnaroo. And after I saw that documentary, I thought, man, Cheryl's like, she's been through it. She's really been through star. it. I was a rock star. You were, you still are famous. a rock star. <laughs> But yeah, the um, the whole essence of Cheryl and his career and the, the buses and getting, you know, in that dark place and keeping up with being a celebrity. And uh, yeah, that I made, just... I've made a few trips to the uh, insane asylum. Did you really? No, I actually <laughs> got help a few times, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can imagine, man. Some, it's just like when you're just on that ride, you can't get off, watch your head. There's so many beautiful things about being my age now, but there are also some really terrifying things, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I've never been followed by a Russian deer. <laughs> Have you ever uh, been writing a song and you just can't like get that right lyric, that last line, oh or in the gosh. middle somewhere? Yes, of course. And you just settle for the one you came up with, and then you produce the record, and then you think of a better line. So there. one of the things I don't do is ever go back and listen to my records because there's certain things that I go, oh, oh yeah. Why did I think that was done? Right. You know. Right. I don't wash myself. <clears throat> oh, that's the I, worst. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't you look good though. Me. You should. <laughs> it's not even about how I look. <coughs> that's so pretty. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Yeah. I know. She's kind of militant about it, wasn't she? Yeah. Well, maybe it morning. is a good morning and maybe it's not. I don't like her being so bossy about it. You ever say good morning to someone they go, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Who told you that? That's right. Do you miss touring on the road? Do you want to go back out again with your band? I your love music? touring. Um, and it's been great. I mean, my kids have been, they've grown up on tour buses. They took their first, actually, Wyatt, my 15-year-old, took his first steps in the green room at Ellen DeGeneres. No so, way, really? there you go. They're getting to the point now where they don't. In fact, last summer, they're like, we're bored, can we go home? So they went home a week early, and it, it was just like... <laughs> oh, no. So I think I'm done for a little while. That's it. But do you ever get, like, a song in your head where you think, oh, I should write that down? That could be... Oh, all the time. Yeah. I'm still writing. Are you have any, like, in the can that you think, wow, this could be good? When I, record it. I have a lot of stuff that I've recorded that I think, this is awesome, I love this song, this would be so yeah. great. And then I go, but wait, you're 60, it's never gonna get played. <laughs> That's not true. Everything's geared to youth. Yeah, 15 year olds. Uh, so, and that's a weird thing, because then, then you have to go, like I was telling my manager the other day, well, what's the point of making a record that's never gonna get hurt? But then you go, well, is that really why you're doing it? Yeah. So what do you, where are you at right now? Are you writing songs? Are you about I'm to go on a tour? I'm working on a one-woman show. Oh, yes. Based on the doc? No. 
No, not based on the dog. Based on something I can't really tell you. Do you be in it or somebody else? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be in it all right. Okay. And I am gonna play stuff. Did you see Bruce? Bruce's Springsteen's? Oh, uh, no, I didn't see you that. Know Bruce. Not a fan. Um, what was he like? <laughs> seriously? No, did you take him? No! <laughs> It's weird doing a documentary because you you have to force yourself to remember things. Oh yeah, and, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just I was exhausted for one thing talking about. Oh, I can imagine you got to relive know, a lot of those. years of stuff, but it is kind of amazing. So I forget a lot lately, and it's not that I forget; it's that I've forgotten that I did what I was supposed to do. Oh my gosh, I do the same thing. And I get such anxiety as I'm opening up my backpack to see if my laptop is in there, or did I leave it on the plane? Because that happened once. Or how about if you have to take medicine, and you're like, did I take, I can't remember if I took it. Do you ever have that, or no. do you take medicine? I have a pill box now, so oh, it has a so yeah, on it. I need to do that. But you know what? I feel like if I get a pill box, then that's gonna mean I'm old. You know <laughs> what I mean? There's certain things just, to me, are markers of getting old, like leaving your car on. I know. I yeah, do I that. pulled well, my. I have a minivan that I use. Nice. You know, if I'm taking a bunch of kids somewhere for going a long distance, and I've had the thing for you know since my kids were little. Yeah. But we drive a Tesla, right? So you, Tesla, you just get in, put your foot on the pedal. You know, when you stop, you stop. And I parked my minivan and left it running for eight hours. I'm I'm you in know, the same boat. Yeah. I leave it running when we go to a restaurant if we're out and about. I, I just, hear you, because you're used to getting out of the electric car. Yeah, my kids are like, Mom, somebody could steal it. And I'm like, let them. <laughs> it's like a minivan with 110,000 miles on it. I know. <laughs> but in the last two weeks, I've been on the road. Right. I left a pair of pants in Salt Lake City Hotel. I left a cable in Austin in the hotel. Okay. And I was in um, somewhere last week. Oh, Chicago. And... I lost my Amex card. Okay, I, I'm just gonna say that's not dementia. Wait a minute. I'm okay, finished. all right, keep going. <laughs> then I'm gonna change that probably. And then two days later, I look at my wallet, my MasterCard is gone. Oh. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> so, so here's the great thing though about losing a credit card it's a real exercise for your mind because in your head you're going through the last two or three days, okay, where did I use it? Okay, was at the creamery? Where have I been? Yeah. I was at the Gentleman's Club yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come from a little town in Missouri. Yes. In the middle of nowhere. Missouri. Um, has there been any dedications to you in that town, like a Shell Crow Road or um, Avenue? Wow, clearly. A sandwich at least? My social... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you pull into <clears throat> the city limits, or on the other side, you leave the city limits, and there is a giant um, cement kind of... Um, I don't know what you call them, but it's a big sign that says hometown of Cheryl Crow. Wow, how long did it take you to put that up? <laughs> <laughs> My kids have not seen the documentary. Really? And they don't want to see it. Really? No, they just like, they like our life and they don't want to know anything that's going to creep them out, right? Right, yeah, I get it. Um, but Levi once went on and he's like, he looked me up and it said, Spouses or relationships, or whatever. And it had me dating Hank Azaria on there. You can't believe that stuff. Series of liars. I know, but I've seen it now several places. I mean, I love Hank Azaria. Yeah. I think I've met him maybe, I mean, maybe one or two game nights. So, I mean, everybody asks you this, but your favorite mistake? Yeah. Is there any one person? It's like asking Carly Simon. Hank like, Azaria. who is the you're, you're in the back? <laughs> okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always say, well... It's like a painting. No you can't one's tell ever me. a mistake. <laughs> Just look who I've become because of my relationship. Look for the good in things, uh, for God's sake. Um, no, I mean, you know... I always thought it was Eric Clapton. You did? Yeah. Uh-huh. Who no? else did you think it could have been? Um... God, there's so many. I know. I've slept with everyone. <laughs> um, it could have been... Well, it wasn't Lance Armstrong. It wasn't who? Yeah, Lance Armstrong. No. Actually, that song was before him anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I guess so. I'll have to see yeah. it. Siri, when was um, my favorite mistake? <laughs> <laughs> 1997 or 8, yeah. 
Do you want me to keep uh, guessing? There's not, I mean, there is probably maybe just high. There's probably one person that inspired it, but I wouldn't say he's actually. Yeah. No, um, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, I'll take that one to my grave. Got to be really hard when you're working so much. You're on the road and mm -hmm. you're dating someone like Eric Clapton, who's got his own career and very busy. I mean, you don't really see each other that much, do you? No, and actually, we didn't really date very long. And part of it was because. Um, I, I think it was during the second record and everything started exploding, like it makes you happy and yeah. everybody's wondering, and we were touring like nonstop and um, it, it, there was hardship for sure on that yeah. and he was working on his own record and so he's a lovely person, he really is. Um, what about Prince? Did not date Prince. He was very charming, I knew him though. Uh, yeah, I really liked him. He was really funny, actually. Yeah, he much was funnier funny. than what people, um, uh -huh. I think, realized. Yeah, all right. funny is a thing for me. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, know, after all the chemistry's done, somebody that makes you laugh, I think, is. That's what I hear a lot. From women. <laughs> See, funny is a thing, and you're just not delivering. You're just not delivering. Okay, am I leaving anybody out? Okay, Lance Armstrong, Eric Clapton. Um, no, what about Carrot Top? How long did you guys stay? <laughs> uh, Thank you, Cheryl Crow. Wow, I got to hike with Cheryl Crow. Mm -hmm. Look at me, fancy. It was a long hike too. It's a long hike. This might have to be a two-parter. This hike was longer than her documentary, I think, which is out now. You should check out her documentary if you want to see what living life as an iconic rock star is. Ooh, I don't know if I could survive that, but she did, and. We got to hike because of that. Anyway, thanks for joining. I hope I see you again. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll catch you next time. Happy trails.